I ask God to speak to me, man, and really give me the reason for why babies are killing each other at such alarming rate. And um, God spoke to me in the form of a poem, man, and I believe, I believe what I've been given. So it's like the mother on the bus. You ever rode the bus in Chicago before or any inner city? The mother on the bus, she's tongue lashing her youth. And every bastard she calls him is black and blue. Bashing him in the back of his mind and he's barely past two. So by the time he's nine, he thinks his name is Bastard. And those seeds she plants with her seeds, they plant seeds and they grow. And now he's 17 years old and no one knows why he's so cold. Why he be so emo, highly sensitive without a sense to give. He's disappointed so pistols get pointed. Open fire because he got roasted nowadays. Playing the dozens will leave half a dozen lying in the dust. When already heavy hearts get scarred and in the hood, everybody's hardened. Bruised egos don't fly in the shy like bruised egos don't fly in the shy. So after the insults are shot, the end result, people die like hair hues. Wait, don't dare, dude. He saw his brother blasted right in the face, right in his face, and now he's a basket case and all. Counselors don't come to our cribs. Shrinks off for crazy kids anyway. So on any day to take away the scenes he's seen, he want to turn up like the greens. I'm talking turn up. Like the green, he want to blow dro and pop holes, poke holes and Jojo at Joe Blow. And you can see the cycle on his face, caught in the cycle of his race. And how you know things are bad in Chicago is when not even your mama's lap is even safe. Y'all must ain't hear about that poor seven-year-old that had her soul stole off a porch in Inglewood in the hood. Minimal help is issued to mental health issues. We get undiagnosed patients, pacing the blocks with loaded glocks, schizo, off the ish so, bad combination, bipolar street soldiers to get a hold of guns, and how my son's supposed to shine when his sickness is shunned? Huh? How my daughter's supposed to be water when her well don't run properly? True story. She's damaged property. Why? Because <laughs> mama's boyfriend. How many stories have we heard about mama's boyfriend? Mama's boyfriend, he let a snake slither through her river first. Perverted in his thirst, she was molested. She told her mother, begged to be arrested, but her mother gave her no thanksgiving, only blamed it on her dressing. So now she questions her self-worth. She's depressed, keeps some ex in a purse, no faith in God, the deacon after a church, hand up a skirt, nails still filled with dirt, and what's worse than damaged merch in a closed box? You know how them birds fly. Tainted and touched. So now her click and her clip both be dangerous. Both gang bang and bust. Shots that can be lethal, leave you leaking with self-hate. That little girl is sick, trying to self-medicate. Her and her girls, they taking swisher and liquor to the face as they congregate, but the congregation can't save you. When your block is the hospice, it's the next stop before death without a leg to stand on like an ostrich. And I wonder, I wonder why my babies don't get no sympathy or no symphony. For their current state while rich kids go to counseling when their parents separate. But my babies could see a drive by on their way to school and still get marked tardy for being late. I guess there's no empathy for the empty. No, no respect for the neglected. Since trauma is so normal and they wonder why these shorty shoulders be chilly like hormone. It's hard to be pleasant and sweet when there's no food to eat. And as a young black male in Chicago... My sons tell me they feel like they food in these streets. And the only time they feel warmth is when they holding the heat. Covered in their grief. And Chief Keith is on repeat. Bang, bang. And there's no one to talk to. To talk through. And even the ones that you all to, they put you off too. They call you crazy. Quit being so dramatic. You need to suck it up, says the mother that was molested. 
to her daughter that's now being touched. The woman turned on her baby and be like, well, things happen. And then she hit her with the, y'all know it. What happens in this house stays in this house. Or you get punched in your mouth for telling family business when we're out. Terrible traditions we keep passing down like family dishes. We were taught to cover our hurt in true religion with true religion. We were taught to wash away our sins in Jordan rivers like she'll forget about all her abortions as long as somebody got some Jordans to give her. But some sores can't be covered by the things you buy in stores. And just because it's being ignored doesn't mean it's being cured. And for real, I'm not trying to start a revolution. I'm simply trying to start a discussion. How can we ever talk about the rebuilding of our community, of our world, if nobody's going to look in their own mirror and acknowledge the true destruction of their structure? So let this poem be the wrecking ball. Time to get naked, y'all. Stop fronting. I can see the hurt in your eyes. And every time you phony kick it, Stunt double, you die a little one side. How long you gonna hold it? I know them skeletons in your closet are starting to get claustrophobic. The guilt from your past coming back, trying to punk you on some more trips, but the baggage that you're carrying can only embarrass you if you don't expose it first. Because we love to scream out what allowed. But we won't scream out loud about what hurts us. We love to walk around saying, yeah, we keep it hunted. But we really keep it surface. We don't want it to surface. And we do us all a disservice when we do. What if I told you someone else is awaiting their healing through the revealing of you? Like when you get brave enough to raise your hand and be like, I was touched inappropriately by a family member. When I was a child. When you get brave enough to raise your hand and say I was a victim of domestic violence. When you get brave enough to say my daddy left and that shit hurt. It hurts. When you get brave enough to confess any of these things, man. Someone else is awaiting their healing through the revealing of you. It's time to get real. And when you're trying to get healed, you don't care who sees you. When you're trying to free you, stop being your own victim. Find somebody to talk to. After this video, email me. I promise I'll listen. Allow my words to be what frees you from your own mental prison. The truth is, we all got issues. It's time somebody say it out loud. So I'll go first. Free yourself. Love yourself. It's K-Love. Y'all can find me on YouTube. K-Love Poetry. Y'all can find me on Facebook, um, K-Love the Poet. Hit me up, man. Follow. We need each other. We need each other for each other's healing. I believe that. Peace, family. Love y'all.